Good morning, guys and gals. I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pikmin 2. Yesterday, we landed in the Wistful Wild for the first time, and I <laughs> talked about nothing that was going on. I got on a bit of a tangent that lasted the entire episode, talking about how it could possibly be that the, the land impact site and the final trial could be so close together. And also, I talked about where the forest naval went because it disappeared mysteriously. Today, I would like to point something out, but I would like to point it out in such a way that you guys can see it for yourselves that we're actually only halfway through the game if you use the treasure count as your metric. I only have 99 of 201 treasures, which means I am a lot less far on this adventure than I originally thought. Every single episode, whenever there was a story beat, whenever we got another percentage point towards completing the the debt, I was always a little bit sad. I would despair a little bit because I love this game and I don't want to see the Let's Play end. But I, I don't think I needed to do that. I think I'm going to be hitting the mark that I had been hoping for of 40 or 50 episodes. I mean, look at, look at the uh, caves that we have left. We have one in Valley of Repose, and, well, one in all of the major areas that we've visited thus far that I have yet to to clear. So we still have to go back to every major area at some point before we end off this adventure, before we find Louie. But also there are three caves in the Wistful Wild. So there are six caves. And I know for a fact all of these, except for the Glutton's Kitchen, if I recall correctly, in the Perplexing Pool, are fairly lengthy caves. They're, they go deep, so... Considering I've been doing around three sub-levels per episode, I uh, around that, we have a good 20 episodes left, which is awesome. But it, it means that all the time I was dis all those times I was despairing were kind of for naught. But I'm really happy to discover that. And it, it'll make me a lot less sad to complete more of the game. Alright, so today will be a bit of a weird day. Originally, I wasn't planning on going into a cave today. I was just planning on farming up sprays and and just having fun with that and clearing out the rest of the area. But there really isn't much left for us to clear out. We have yet to go, go this way. We're, we already got the bridge over by the, uh, the water. But that's it, right there. That's all we have, have to clear. That's it. I mean, there's this segment here, but I would like to wait to clear that until we're, we actually need to go there for story purposes. Also, whoa. Mind blown. That's an arrow. That's an arrow pointing to where we need to go. That's kind of astounding for foreshadowing purposes. Uh, so, I guess I'll save some of... No. Let's take out all whites. You heard me. All of our whites. And then reds. And call that good? Uh, I'm splitting the party off into two sections today. One of them will be on berry duty. They Their job is to clear out all the berries, get a lot more sprays, and then the other guy's duty is to to take care of the unexplored sections. But otherwise, we're, we're well on our way to entering a cave. Alright. Let's just do this. And... I can revel a little bit more that there's so much left of the game to complete. It feels great. I, I'm loving this series, and I think you guys are too. There have been a lot of changes for the channel, but one thing that has not changed is I love Pikmin, and I'm always willing to play it, and it, it's, it feels so good. All right, so Olimar, I guess, can be on berry duty, and then we can send the president on on clearing duty, on, on an adventure. And I, I, we got the president for the first time yesterday, and I never talked about what he's, what he does and how cool he is. But first, I won't talk about it right now because I have a technique to show off. I was watching some speedruns of Pikmin 1, and I was surprised to find out that their most used camera angle was this. I was wondering why, until I remembered something that I myself explained earlier on in the adventure. Enemies off screen despawn. So I can use a zoomed-in camera angle to get really good positions or an advantageous position in on enemies. It's pretty sweet. So I'll be using that a little bit more this adventure. Uh, 26. Uh, 26. No, I need... Yeah, I need some... I need to shave off some numbers here. There we go. I can deal with 33, maybe. It's going to be close because I have to fight some enemies, but 
I guess I can make that work. We'll see. And we're about to see a, a new hull. Hello. What are you? One of the three holes in the Wistful Wild, so you know it's got to be a hard one. I am detecting the howls of countless creatures in the whole head. It is nearly deafening. Sound analysis indicates a wide variety of creatures nesting here. It is a melting pot of life. Mr. President, be extremely careful. Olimar, your job is to protect his life at all costs. What is- which cave is this? The Hall of Heroes requires every single kind of Pikmin, which all of the caves will from here on out if they are in the Wistful Wild. Okay, here. Despawn him. Circle around the... these guys, and kill him! Nate, please don't come out. Oh, he came out, he came out, he came out! That's not good! Oh, how did he miss that, that Pikmin? I don't want to use a spray here. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to make a tactical retreat. Tactical retreat. Come here. Come here, Withering Blowhog. Yeah. Cool. I avoided trouble. See, this is the new and reform, pal. I don't just fight things when I see them. What are you doing? There you go. Do I need to throw any Pikmin up here for treasure purposes? No. <laughs> Then why am I even here? Why is this area a thing? Alright, this is an actual question. I'm not joking. What is... What purpose does the... Is there a treasure inside this one? Maybe? Oh, wait. Wait, wait. I forgot there's another way there. Blowhog. Alright. Come here. Come here. No, this way. I don't want to fight both of you at once. Just come this way. Well, it looks like Olimar's berry duty is working out. 15 Pokos, a measly 15 Pokos. I, I really could have gone without getting the Converse Spire in, to begin with. Okay, give up. You can't face me. You can't beat me. Here, Withering Blog, come over this way. What do you... There's nothing there, sir. There you go. Okay, this I think I can deal with. I think this is out of the other guy's range. Yes, it is. Cool. Alright, now for you. I have three of these guys to defeat. Alright, throw a couple. Wait for him to miss. And then... Kill him. Man, the sea stick really saved me right there. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Kill him. There. Yeah, the sea stick is awesome. and Which makes me really sad to move on to Pikmin 3 eventually. Which I will... I mean, if I'm still doing this channel thing, then I will play Pikmin 3 at some point. But one of the, one of the biggest things I don't like about that game, it's a fantastic Pik Pikmin title. Like, it really is. I love it so much. Okay, use your thing. And... Oh, mm, oh I lost a Pikmin. That's sad. Yeah, there was no way around that either. I could have used a spray, but uh, I, I thought the spray was worth a little bit more than that Pikmin's life. Which is terrible to say, but I believe it. Alright. But yeah, the sea stick is awesome, and it's not in Pikmin 3. Uh, which makes things really difficult. But the advantage to playing Pikmin 3... I guess this is an advantage in general for the revised play control versions of the game, where you can use the Wii Remote. Is that they all have... Where's this treasure? Where is this... Mis mysterious treasure. Oh, it's inside the thing. Okay. Uh, is that you have the Wii Remote, which is which is great, uh, and you're able to strafe the the enemies using a Wii Remote, which is really nice, but it's it's obvious to tell when you're playing the Pikmin game that it that that technique is not made to to handle, because things start feeling really cheap. But I guess also because a lot of people, there's a there's a debate on amongst Pikmin fans about whether or not the new play control is better than the GameCube version. And I, for the most part, have always supported using the GameCube version, which is what I'm using here. I mean, I'm just, I'm playing it on the PC, but I am using GameCube controller. Uh, and I've always been a proponent of the GameCube controller method, mainly because the C-Stick is such a powerful tool. And even if you're using the Wii Remote in the 
in Pikmin 2 and Pikmin 1, you don't get the same level of control that you do it by using a twin stick control method. It's just so much better if you use a C stick, but also when you're using a C stick, you're missing out on the ability to strafe, and strafing is is really useful. So I don't know, there's a trade-off. For the longest time I thought that objectively the uh, the Wii controls are better because they allow you to strafe, but like I said, there's so much you miss out by not having a C-stick and not being able to twin-stick things. So, so recently I've I've come to support both methods. They're pretty good. You just you're getting different things. You're getting different things by using different controllers, I guess. Which can be said about most games you're using different controllers with, except for like, except for a lot of competitive games. I mean, using a Wii remote in in um Smash. The, it's strictly worse. Like in every way you look at it, it is worse. It, we using Wiimote Nunchuck is a little bit more, uh, a little bit more of a trade-off as though because you can, the like the setup changes things. You can use B sticking a little bit easier. There's some techniques that are made easier, but still, overall, it's it's kind of it's one of those things where subject like objectively, it's worse. But not with Pikmin. All right, I'm going into a cave today. I'm not sure which one it is. I'd like to get a few more sprays first. In fact, let's send the president back to base. What? What? It does. It does that. There's mold. I. I did not know that the mold would grow back in the middle of the day. That's. It doesn't do that in the other areas. So I guess that's a unique trait of the wistful wild. Huh. Armored nut. There are a lot of nuts to be had in the Wistful Wild, which makes sense considering that it is taking place in a fall-themed area. All right, will more mold grow back? Because that's that's going to be an annoyance. Hopefully, it won't. All right, we're back here. How close are we to getting more sprays? I would like to head in there with five and five at least, but I know that's not going to be a reality. So just a few more sprays will be enough to sate my my thirst. Oh, come on. You guys can do it. There you go. Now, another cool thing about the Wistful Wild plants is that they grow both kinds of berry. So, if you want to farm up both, not only does this have three berry plants in one location, but it also grows both kinds. Although, the, the amount of spi Ultra Bitter spray it grows is a lot less than the amount of ultra spicy so there's that trade-off but still pretty good all right i think i'm going to farm up one more cycle and then we'll be done i, I think i think we'll be good then then we can go into a cave uh while i'm at it i might as well just go investigate that cave down there since i'd kind of like to go into into that one because it's so close otherwise i'm just leaving it around and in the case with the Citadel of Spires, Spiders, where I did the same thing, it didn't really feel that great. I'd rather knock out the one that's closest. Wait, from all appearances, this is a particularly frightening crevice. This data, the data is horrifying. Courage is one thing, but recklessness is something else. Perhaps we should turn back. Well, if you still wish to enter, keep your daring in check and just focus on surviving. What is this? The whole cavern of chaos. Sounds fun. Who doesn't like good a uh, good chaos? I know I do. Here, take that out. Is there a spray? Man, those things are annoying. Especially when they come attached to bomb rocks. That's always a fun treat. Poor Tom. Poor Tom will miss him. Even though I have a bunch in my party. Ugh, mold back. Alright, so... I guess we'll go in there and see what ways we can abuse the system even more by doing that cool time skip technique. I... Well, I discovered that, as I said, when watching a live stream. Also, this thing grew when I... Or not a live stream, a speedrun. This thing grew while I was watching it. That's kind of weird. Kind of... It makes sense, because during fall more fungus grows, but it's still kind of... It is kind of gross. Alright, you can do that, and you guys can stand by. But yeah, uh, I'm not planning on abusing that t technique, which I discovered in a speedrun, 
but I would be using it. It's it is cool. But yeah, I've I've always wanted to do a speed run. You guys have known that I'm part of a competitive Smash scene. Uh, I play a lot of Project M. I'm I play a lot of Project M. Play a lot of Smash Four. Uh, not so much Melee, which is a bit odd because it's you know it's the the quintessential fighting game, which at this point is true. You people really can't argue that it is one of the longest running fighting games and one of the most popular, most televised, and the most successful. But I, I really don't play it that often. Instead, I play I opt for Project M, which I think is really well designed, best Smash game, and I mean I'm not I'm not saying that. I, you know what, it is the best Smash game. In my opinion, it is the best Smash game. Regardless of whether or not it was made by Nintendo, it is a much be well, better designed game. There are some jank... jankitudes to it, but it's still, all in all, as a whole, it is really well done. Alright, so let's take this last shipment of sprays back. Looks like we won't be getting an Ultra Bitter Spray, but that's, that's fine, I guess. Having so many spicy sprays is good. Uh, so all of those, so all the hazards are in that cave, so I'll probably be, for the first time, taking 20 of each kind of Pikmin into the cave. Alright. Once these are back, in fact, I can go and start now. Ah, uh, no, I'll wait, I'll be patient. Actually, you know what, no, I won't be patient. Alright, 20 of each kind of Pikmin. I would love to show off an Easter egg that... Oh man, we're cutting it so close. I'd love to show off an easter egg that happens when you have 20 of each kind of Pikmin out, but I am already down to the wire. So let's enter the Cavern of Chaos. It has every kind of hazard. It has 17 treasures in it, and I'm entering with 100 Pikmin. I'm not sure if there are Bullmen in here, but I guess we'll find out. <sighs> One of the endgame caverns, guys. It can't get, get much more difficult than this. Ba -da 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 -da. Maybe I could. <gasps> okay, this is stupid. <laughs> Should I? There's no way I could ride him, right? No way. Could I ride him? <sighs> you know what? And watch out for traps. Traps? Whammies? No. When we dig it up, there. That's when the whammies will be. This cave, th this game definitely loves giving me the whammies. Is it a potato? 